just yesterday I did my March favorites and the month of April has literally, literally gone by so incredibly fast. So fast that I've just cocked up in the whirlwind and suddenly I have an accent. It's wishful thinking. Anyways, I'm gonna be showing you everything I loved makeup and fashion and beauty wise, but then as always, we've got the random stuff. We're talking music, books, tea, food, people. Are you intrigued yet? You should be. Keep watching. I'm gonna start with fashion items and my first favorite fashion item, I say very loosely, because I'm not 100% sure these are actually pajamas, are these pants from Target. And I just love these. They're like pajamas, but they're not pajamas. And they're just so comfortable and wide leg and loose and I wear them to be honest at least twice a week and they're a pattern so people have started noticing and I have not started caring. <laughs> the next fashion item is a piece of jewelry and it is this bracelet from Pandora. You guys know that I went on a cruise to the Caribbean courtesy of Pandora jewelry which was still, I, it has not sunk in, was the coolest thing in the entire world and they gifted me this bracelet. So I've just been wearing it non-stop. I wore it the entire time I was on the cruise and then since I've been home I've been stacking it with a bunch of different other bracelets and I love it. I think Pandora kind of has a reputation for being heavy bracelets and tons of different charms but this one is like really delicate I just think it's like really cute and really cool and I've been wearing a couple of them stacked together I love it and if you guys want to see any of the videos I did while I was on the cruise I have a whole playlist of those so I'm gonna link them down below and I'm gonna be adding a bunch more as the weeks go on and on because I recorded so much so just keep checking back my body care favorite of the month is the peach body butter from the body shop you guys this smells so good it's amazing it makes your skin feel so incredibly soft but smells straight up like fresh, ripe, juicy, juicy peaches, and I kind of want to gnaw my own arm off when I use this. Let's go on to the makeup favorite! A lot of these makeup favorites are actually sent to me from my friend Este here on YouTube, who's an Essie button. I had sent her a package a while back, and she sent me another package with a whole bunch of beauty products and fun things from the UK. I love her videos, her vlogs, everything. I'll have her link down below. My first makeup favorite is a Great Kisser Soap and Glory Moisturizing Balm, and speaking of peaches, this smells like peaches too. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. This keeps my lips so hydrated, well moisturized, and because it is like a peachy color, it deposits a little bit of color onto your lips so it looks like you're wearing a little bit of something but oh it's amazing and this is archery brow tint and precision shaping pencil from soap and glory and this is an eyebrow pencil I really haven't been wearing a lot of makeup but brows are something that's so important to me when I do very minimal makeup because I want them to stand out and I think it just looks really fresh faced for the summertime and this is such an amazing brow product one side of it is like a felt tip pen it literally can draw in very fine looking hairs so it's not like sometimes you see people fill their eyebrows in and it looks like color me pretty and you're like okay cool you literally like drew a box and you shaded it in you're like that's not what you should be doing this isn't colored pencils or art class this is your face so you want it to look more natural and then on the other side I will go in with the pencil and I will fill in the rest and elongate my brow and I just think this is like the bees knees of brow product my brow game feels relatively strong <laughs> My next favorite is a bronzer, and this is Estee's Holy Grail bronzer that she sent me. And this is the Body Shop Bronzing Powder in the shade Light Matte. And it's like their honey bronzer, and it looks kind of like a honeycomb. I'm wearing it today, and it just creates a really natural looking glow. It doesn't get muddy. I love it. I think it's super pretty, and it's really natural, and it blends so beautifully. My next favorites are these little tints from Jouer, and I actually featured these in my spring inspiration video showing you guys how I use them. So I'll have that link down below if you guys want to see it. But I've got one in with Whisper and Bond. But in general, while I was traveling so much of this month, I would just bring this with me, mix these two colors together, apply them to my cheeks, my fingers, and then I would go on and apply them to my lips and then top it off with like a lip balm or something like that. They're super multi-purpose and so easy to use and they just look so pretty. Especially this shade, which is Whisper, gives you like, oh, the most beautiful like glow to your face. I was gonna make a joke, but I'm pretty sure the only time you ever like physically glow is when you're pregnant and let's not start that rumor. Finally, my last beauty favorite is the NARS Translucent crystal powder. It just looks so good on your skin. It illuminates your face without making you look shimmery or shiny because it still ends up mattifying your face. It's hands down my favorite setting powder for my foundation, tinted moisturizer, anything. It's just beautiful. So let's move on to the more random favorites, which personally are my favorite of the favorites. My favorite tea of the month is the Blackberry Sage Tea from Republic of Tea. You guys know this is probably my all-time favorite tea brand. I just love the way they mix kind of savory flavors with sweet flavors. It gives for a really like full-bodied beautiful tea it's just amazing and I've been drinking this I've been drinking I've been drinking black bear sage my favorite food of the month is grapefruits grapefruit grapefruit fruit the grape grape the fruit Trader Joe's has 
has a bunch of these massively huge organic ruby red grapefruit. Grapefruit! I am struggling saying grapefruits. I am eating at least one of these every single day. I find the ruby red ones are the best ones, and if you get them from Trader Joe's right now, they're really ripe and delicious, and they're not sour or bitter or gross. They're just delicious, and eat it! Yum! My next favorite is pretty random, and that is this. What do we think it is? What do we think it is? What do we think it is? This is a shower Bluetooth player. So basically, it has a suction cup on the back, and I can put it on the wall of my shower, and then I hook it up to the Bluetooth on my iPhone, and I can play music through here in the shower so I'm jamming out. It plays music and I love it. Speaking of music, I have two music favorites of the month. The first one is Dan and Shay. I found Dan and Shay on Spotify and I started listening to their new album and I have listened to it so many times. It's just such good, feel good country music and I uh, love them. And my second music favorite is the artist Gregory Allen Isakov. Um, I'm butchering it absolutely horribly. <laughs> Now, I don't even know how I discovered his song, Big Black Car, but the second I listened to it, I was doing something else, and I just heard it from the other room, and just something came over me that I was like, oh my gosh, this song. This song. And I had one of those moments, like they do in The Perks of Being a Wallflower, where the song made you feel infinite, and you just listened to it, and you just felt like your life was changing based on a song. If you guys have never even listened to any of my music recommendations, of all of them, you have to listen to Big Black Car. If you don't do it, you're getting arrested. I'm gonna have my Spotify link down below so you guys can listen to those songs and follow me on Spotify. I have two favorite movies of the month. The first one should be pretty obvious and that is Divergent. I saw it twice. I love Shailene Woodley. She's amazing. Theo James is an absolute sex god. Oh my god. Literally drooling. <gasps> So, so, so sexy. I saw it with my dad the second time, and I'm not kidding, guys. He was literally on the edge of his seat in the movie theater, like, oh, sweetie, this is amazing. Oh, this is a good one. I'm glad you recommended this. Oh, that, truth be told, just says how good of a movie it was. I really did enjoy it. But I always will say I like the book better. The second movie is on Netflix, actually, and that is Stuck in Love. And I feel like I'm the last person to see this movie because it's a very well-loved movie for all of my Netflix addicts out there. It features Logan Lerman and Lily Collins, and it's just a really great movie. I'm not really elaborating because, to be honest, I watched it at the beginning of the month, and I wrote it down to say in my favorite video, but I don't even really remember what it's about. As we can see, I just really like Divergent. My favorite TV show of the month I actually mentioned last month, but I feel the need to reiterate it again. You guys need to start watching Crisis. It is so incredibly good. It also features Nathan Scott, aka James Lafferty, in it, and he is like the teacher, and you're like, mmm. I will give you some extra credit. Yeah. My favorite book of the month is Bossy Pants by Tina Fey, and I listened to that on audible.com. For the moment, I decided that I wasn't gonna go to Coachella. I was gonna go and visit my parents for Easter, and honestly, I have no regrets about that. Right before I left, I downloaded Bossy Pants on Audible because I was like, I need something to get me through this six hour drive on the way home because it ain't gonna be fun. I'm pretty sure the audiobook is six and a half hours and I listened to it beginning to end for the entire drive. It's narrated by Tina Fey, which keeps it very upbeat and lively, which is basically like six hours of her cracking jokes and me listening, feeling like Tina Fey was in my passenger seat. Like, oh, Tina, stop. I loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. And and on the off chance that you don't know what Audible is, but I don't know why you would, it's an audiobook website, so if you've already listened to Fossey Pants or it doesn't really sound like your cup of tea, they have like a hundred thousand other books that you could listen to and things like that. And if you use the code audible.com slash Megan, you can get a 30 day free trial, which transfers into a free book. I'll have the code linked down below. And finally, my favorite person of the month is one of my best friends, Marissa, and she's a YouTube channel here called Marissa Link. I just love her and she started up her channel again. Send her some love from me. Mwah. Okay guys, that is it for my April favorites video. I hope you all enjoyed. I did so many fun, cool things month of April and I just want to give a huge thank you to you guys because I don't know when my YouTube channel became this whole thing, but I'm really thankful it did. It's ethically cool. I love you oodles and oodles and oodles and oodles and oodles and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll talk to you guys next